In this step, I wanna break down a couple of the must-know parts of the GridBot setup process. So on the page for GridBots, you'll notice that there is a fixed trading view window on one side, and on the other side, there are all the parameters for your GridBot. So when you're looking at the trading view window, you're able to add trend lines, drawings, all that kind of stuff, and you can also change the time frame. The first thing I do is I do change the time frame to something longer, like four hours or a day. That way I can see how would this grid range work over the last 30, 60, 90 days. That lets me know, oh, can I really just leave it running? That's a good thing to know. Just like Smart Trade, I do have the options to choose my exchange, the market, and the trading pair. And again, this is important. Not every trading pair is good for a grid bot. The next thing you choose is between automatic settings and custom. The auto version automatically detects the bottom and the top of the grid range, and it automatically fills it up with all the grid lines that are there. The only thing you have to do is to figure out how much of your balance do you want to use to run the grid bot. Note, when you start the grid bot, it will tell you that you need to buy X amount of tokens if you don't already have them in order to start the bot. Custom allows you to manually configure where the top and the bottom of your range is, as well as the number of grids and the profit per grid. There are also some additional parameters like amount per level where you can actually change that number and put in whatever you want to use per level. You can choose which currency you want to take profit in. You can choose your order size currency and you can also enable stop bot, which essentially is a stop loss, but stop loss to the upside or the downside. And lastly, you can name your bot. Once you're satisfied with all of your settings, go ahead and hit create to start your bot. And just like I said before, if you don't already have the tokens required to run the bot, it's going to tell you, you need to buy X number of tokens in order to run this bot. After you start the bot, you can view its progress down below in the profit continuum, as well as have some more information, such as clicking on the ticker to view the profit that the bot has made so far. You can see the realized profit generated from the bots and also the overall PL or the overall profit and loss based on where your bot started.